Hey everybody, welcome to The Lowdown. If this is your first time, you just happen to stumble across this video, let me welcome you to the series that's breaking down the top stories of the tech world every Tuesday and every Thursday. And it seems like the OnePlus 6 just came out, and it did just back at the end of May, but the 6T is on the horizon, it is coming soon, and it's shaping up to be one pretty big upgrade. Let me tell you why. Here's The Lowdown. The next OnePlus 6 smartphone is right around the corner. and With just a few months to go before the phone is expected to launch, we're starting to get a good idea and a good look at what this phone is really shaping up to be. From information we're hearing so far, it looks like the 6T isn't going to be just a regular small update. The changes look pretty significant with this model. Alleged photos of the phone's retail box seemingly confirm a few of the phone's biggest standout features, the two probably biggest ones being the small notch and the under display fingerprint reader. Let's start with that super small water drop notch at the top. With a notch this small, the 60 would be among a number of phones that are really doing their best to cut down on that notch and make it as unintrusive as possible. And this may be kind of a compromise that many are wanting between a totally notchless phone and a notch on something like the iPhone 10 or the dreaded notch on the Pixel 3 XL. It does work with face unlock and will give you a little bit more screen real estate to take advantage of on the rumored 6.4 inch OLED display that's supposed to come with a resolution of 2340 by 1080. Making that display just a bit more impressive is the fact that the OnePlus 6T's fingerprint reader is essentially going to be built in under the display, or at least that's the rumor, allowing you basically to unlock your phone by simply placing your finger on a portion of that screen. And the tech is definitely still a work in progress, and we've seen this on other phones, and OnePlus's parent company, Oppo, is known to be working on it as well. And the idea of a large screen, small notch, and under display fingerprint reader seems to be the crowd favorite right now and does sound pretty exciting. And I know many of you guys have commented before that this would be your dream combo. So this may be the phone for you. And reports are pretty confident on what the front of this phone is going to look like, but the back is where things get a little bit murky. There's some heavy speculation right now that the Oppo R17 smartphone is the reference design for the 6T, which makes a whole lot of sense if you just take a look at that phone. One special feature though that that phone has that the 6T may or may not have is a triple camera setup on the back. And we're hearing conflicting reports that if this will actually happen or not, but there are two different versions of the R17 and one does have a three camera setup while the other one has a traditional two camera setup. So we don't know if OnePlus will go with that triple camera setup or not, but it would be very cool to see if they do end up doing so. The 6T is rumored to have a 12 megapixel main shooter with a variable aperture ranging from f1.5 to f2.4 and a second 20 megapixel camera on there as well. And the third sensor, if it is on there, may be used for better depth data, but again, it's still really unclear at this point if it's gonna be on there, and if so, what it would be really used for. The OnePlus 6T is expected to come packed with a Snapdragon 845 processor, six or eight gigs of RAM, depending on your model, just like the current OnePlus 6 configuration options we have now, and we could see potentially a big jump in battery life from the current 3300 milliamp hour battery to something a bit bigger, maybe OnePlus taking a page from Samsung's playbook, but we don't know if that's gonna happen just yet. What we do know right now is it looks like T-Mobile will be carrying the unannounced 6T officially. Several sources have confirmed that T-Mobile will be the exclusive US carrier for this new OnePlus phone, and there may even be a specific model of the 6T optimized just for T-Mobile's network. Price for the 6T is a little bit up in the air. It may be a little bit more expensive than the OnePlus 6, so it could range from 529 to 599, but we should know more when the phone is officially announced sometime in November. So what are your guys' thoughts on the OnePlus 6T? Is the idea of a super small notch, a pretty large bezel-less display, and an under-display fingerprint reader a killer combo you guys have long been waiting for? Do you care if it has three cameras or two? And will it have wireless charging? Maybe, maybe not. We sure hope it does here. Leave a comment down below and let us know. And you could be featured if you leave a comment on the next episode of The Lowdown. In the last episode of The Lowdown from Tuesday, it was a pretty clear consensus among you guys in the comments that the notchless Pixel 3 is the way to go, and it's a much better looking phone than the rumored 3XL. Again, these phones haven't even been announced yet, but people have already made up their mind. Joshua Powell was among many who said simply this, Pixel 3, notch equals deal breaker. Totally get and understand what you guys are saying. If the 3XL really has a notch that large, the Pixel 3, the regular smaller one, would look like a much better alternative. Or maybe Google is just trolling us all and there's gonna be some new Pixel launch at this event that looks completely different. Let's hope for that. Probably not gonna happen though. 
All right, guys, that is all I've got for today's episode of The Lowdown. Thank you guys always so much for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to click that button and subscribe and click that bell so you are notified about upcoming videos and you are automatically alerted when a new episode of Lowdown or any Techno Buffalo video goes up. Give the video a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you back here on Tuesday.